when learning more about the Java Enterprise ecosystem, probably you heard about the Spring Framework. For the past 20 years, the Spring Framework has been helping Java developers to build web application by providing out-of-the-box architectural requirements like persistence, business logic, web serving, security, running on top of a fantastic dependency injection container. According to Snick, in 2020, Spring was present in 6% of Java applications around the world. March 31st, 2022, the Spring team announced a major remote code execution vulnerability that impacted both Spring MVC and Spring Webflux modules running on top of JDK 9. Today, we are going to help you to be more diligent, to stay as safe as possible from vulnerabilities like this one. When exposing a web API using Spring, it helps you to map HTTP request data to a plain Java object that we can write code to rely on. Spring is smart enough to map not only the HTTP body, but also other data like the query parameters. It means that your API method on the controller class we receive as an argument an instance of the creating object with the data coming from the HTTP query parameters. Spring relies on the power of the reflection API to dynamically set some of our object properties with data coming from the HTTP request. Now let's think, would Spring allow us to access data from the object class, the parent of every Java class, specifically the get class method. Yes, the get class method from the object class allows developers to the Java reflection API world, which empowers them to dynamically change data on class instances living inside the JVM memory. The Reflection API is an unlocked door to the entire application state. It also means that if you send a request with smart enough query parameters, Spring will apply the value on whatever class properties that your smart enough query parameters keys are able to access. The issue allowed clients to apply changes on logging configuration by sending a simple HTTP request. Those configurations live under a set of resources managed by the class loader of Tomcat. The class loader itself is only accessible by the class class because of the module property that was created on JDK 9. At this point, the requester is able, using the right set of query parameters, to print everything related to the application state and its environment as log. For example, environment variables, where we usually store our secrets. Then, we just need to expose our logging file containing the data that we want from the application state and environment as a JSP file that will be automatically exposed by the web container. Luckily for us, the Spring team is full of rock stars. They already released a patch that fixes the issue by excluding some key classes attributes from the query parameters mapping. Upgrading your Spring dependence to 5.2.20 will prevent the issue to happen on your environment. The issue was found on applications running on top of Tomcat and ZDK 9. That doesn't mean the issue cannot happen in other places. To make sure, upgrade your Spring version. When this vulnerability was first reported, 
our team got together to understand its nature, its impact, and how to make sure that we are safe from it. The very first vendor that we found that offered detection and remediation automation from vulnerability was Sneak. During our tests, we discovered that Sneak was able to identify and offer remediation guidance regardless how deep was the issue in the package tree. The Pendabot was another tool that was able to provide guidance to update our Spring package in our project. The three main lessons we learned from working with that vulnerability were configure native tooling on repositories, like for example, GitHub and the Pandabot. Have a comprehensive tool like Sneak on your security toolbox. Run your own experiments with the vulnerability in a safe sandbox. At Modus Create, we believe that in digital transformation, it's important also to be diligent with security policies and protocols to make sure that the application's state is safe and away from bad guys. In past situations, like for example in the Log4j vulnerability, we've been working together with the community to help companies to overcome the issue and stay safe. Thanks for watching. We'll be expecting your thoughts on the comment section. See ya!